This video is now considering the conditional mean function for one of the examples we looked at in previous videos. So this was the example where y and x are both binary variables, and previously we computed the conditional mean of y given x equals 1, and now we're going to think about uh, the conditional mean function, or CMF. So in order to write out the CMF, first we need to compute the other conditional mean of y given x equals 0. So to do that, we'll use the same formula from before. And we'll skip the middle step, we can see we'll have 0 times some conditional probability. That term will 0 out. Then we'll get plus 1 times the uh, conditional probability that y equals 1. So as usual with binary variables, the mean is the same as the probability of equaling 1. So I'll take that shortcut this time. And to compute that conditional probability, now we need a different formula, which is the uh, joint probability divided by the marginal of the conditioning event. So the joint is y equals 1 and x equals 0 divided by that. So the numerator we can read directly from the table. So that's the probability that an individual is both unmarried and employed, which is 10% of the full population. So we'll have 0.1 in the numerator, and then the marginal, again, summing across the row like we did in the previous video, we get 0.2. That's the share of the total population that is uh, not married in this case. And then simplifying, we'll get 0. 0.5 or 50%, one half. Um, so again, the idea here is when we condition on x equals 0, we're only considering the subpopulation of not married individuals. And again, if you want to think of it uh, as like 10 people in the top left and 10 people in the top right, then it's maybe easier to see that we should indeed get one half for the probability of employment in that subpopulation, right? 10 out of 20. So this gives us our second conditional mean, and now the conditional mean function, or CMF, is defined as a function of little x that tells us which value to condition on when we're computing the conditional mean. So at this point, this is mostly just notation, but it will be very helpful in later chapters when we're doing more than just having a single binary x. So in this case, our m of 0 will be the value we just computed, which is 0 0.5. And then, hopefully, I remember the color. m of 1 is the value from before, 0 0.5. 
seven five where we were plugging in one for little x. So in other words, we were conditioning on x equals one, or in this example, looking at the married subpopulation. So our CMF here is a function in the sense that we give it some input number like zero, and then it gives us back the corresponding conditional mean. And we can think of it like any other function. You know, we could draw a graph with x over here, um, and 0.5, 0 0.75. Think about m of x. Now, it can be a little confusing because we can also think about plugging in x, the random variable, So uppercase x, not lowercase x, or equivalently writing a mean of y given x, the random variable, not a specific value of x. So it's partly confusing because before m of little x, that's a function that's not random. So y is random capital Y and capital X is random, but M of X is not random. It's just a function like you've seen in algebra class. In contrast, M of big X or expectation of Y given big X is a random variable. So we can see that because uh, big X, capital X, takes on two possible values each with some probability. So then m of x, m of capital X, also takes on two values with some probability. Specifically, the probability that m of x equals, find it here, 0.5 Well, if x is 0, then m of x equals 0.5. So the probability that m of x equals 0.5 in this example is the same as the probability that x equals 0. And for that, we can again go back to our table from previous videos and see the marginal probability that x equals 0 is 0.2. That's 0.2. And then similarly, the probability that m of x equals 0.75 is the same as the probability that x equals 1, which from our table before, we computed as 0 0.8. So, sorry, I'm running out of room here. But all that to say, this m of x, when we keep it capital X, is a random variable, and we just computed its distribution, whereas m of little x is a function that is not random.